Good afternoon, Ice Cream Ninja Nation. This is your big homie, Fat Boy Jim, with another all-in ice cream exclusive. Uh, today, got a couple things going on. Uh, checking the floods. Uh, make sure everything's good here. See if we can do this one handed. Ah, good, good, good. Ah, okay. All right, there we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Good, good. We want to see this oil. What are we looking at? Uh, not bad, not bad. Okay, plenty of brake fluid. Looks like, yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, uh, let's check this transmission. Uh, not bad. It should be running. I want to point out, but it seems to be okay. We'll do a guesstimate on that. All right, so not too bad there, folks. Not too bad there. Uh, we did have the old Sylvie Rado fired up today. That's a good old rig. Hey, wait a minute. What's going on here? Greta? She's not in the garage. What's going on? This is strange. Huh. Really? Otis? What's going on in here? It looks like the old lady's van. Hey! What are you doing? What's going on, Nick? I'm going to line this up. How bad is this? Uh, pain in the butt to try and line up. Come on, come on. Ah, there she is. Oh, she's in. It don't feel like a lot of play in this. Yeah, well, that axle moves a lot when she puts it in gear. That shouldn't move. So, uh, of course, we got nin oh. Ninja Nick under here. Uh, do you want to move this light over for you? It's not like I can see. Huh? It's not like I can see it. Okay. But, uh, yeah, uh, 2012... Chrysler Town and Country, uh, good rig, good rig, but it makes a clunking sound when you put it in gear. So what we're doing the passenger side of, we've owned a lot of caravans over the years. Uh, I've never seen one with a carrier bearing. That right there, which I figured that was going to be more sloppy than what it actually is. It's probably the original axe, to tell you the truth. So. I don't know. They you don't know look to be in the greatest of shape. Huh? Now that I think about it, the ones I did before is 2014s. I wonder if they changed them and had to put the pin on the 14s. Maybe. Maybe. That's a good possibility. That's the new parts. You're good, brother. I'm just getting a better angle here. I don't know if you can see much. I think I can't even see. And I'm right here. Oh so, boy. I gotta get this ball. Let's see what we got here. Maybe. <laughs> so what do you think about that Lincoln putting it together? I think it's possible. She's got the money to pay you. I know. 
Oh, I'll get it together. And she's got her got her hopes up, man. You're her fucking last fucking hope. I know you can do it. <coughs> oh, I know I can too. Now, you know my videos have been doing very well here lately. So we need to get this on camera as evidence. Are you going to do the Lincoln by Friday, Ninja Nick? Uh, I will try. Well, that's all we can do at the end of the day, bub. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say yes, because I don't know what condition it's in. I don't know where he's at at oh. Well, what I can do is... uh. If you want to start it tomorrow, well, tomorrow I'll be a little bit busy, but I can stop up there yeah, for a little bit. And uh, if you need the money in the meantime, she'll definitely take care of you. You know that's not an issue. We should call ourselves No Money Garage because that's where we're at. No Money Garage, we got a garage right now. So I don't understand. I don't know what the hell's clunking. None of this seems to. I mean, it's old and beat up, but it's not clunking. When I looked, when I was watching, this axle here would move the whole thing, it would move back and forth. This whole assembly, including this piece back here, you really can't see it, but... But it's part of the axle assembly we're yes, replacing? which is that piece there. That whole thing would move. Okay, well... So I'm hoping that's what the heck the whole... Brake thing. pads don't look too bad. No. We'll reuse those. <coughs> I thought we just replaced those not too long ago. Oh, we probably did. At least she's not as bad as her uncle. <laughs> Her uncle, every six months he wants to do his brake pads. I think we do that, okay, buddy. I can't even get my hand in here. I can't wait till I finally. I, eventually, I'm just gonna say, be damn it, and uh, I'm just gonna put Greta together, man. It's just a matter of having the parts. That's what you keep saying. I know, and it ain't that much. It really ain't that much. I got all the major components. And then she'll be back on the road, and I can't wait. That's been a long time coming. Yeah, she blew it up. Oh, now, I didn't blow it up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> you <to> try it. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was driving, but it was somebody else that did it. <laughs> no, it's only got 40,000 original. Yeah, about to say, they didn't even got nothing on it. You know, I think that training was bad to begin with, because even when I had it dialed in, it never did shift right, so. And I really, truly, honestly, when that transmission took a crap, I was driving normal coming down 16 out of Zanesville. Literally, that thing just did what it did. And then the last thing it did was when we pulled it up in front of your house and tried to do a burnout, and all we did was blow smoke everywhere. But you know what? That video did great. Uh -huh. I got like 3,500 views like in two hours. <laughs> Blowing the transmission out. Yeah, that was a great video. I bet it was. That was a great video. Oh, those bolts gonna play games. Cause I can't get a hold of it. Yeah, them rotors are new. Everything we did all that. Oh yeah, this van's got more new parts than damn brand new car. Well, you know you gotta keep mom happy, so. <sighs> I'm the only one that challenges it is Willie. Yeah, yeah, Willie's new from bumper to bumper. Everything on Willie's been changed, upgraded. Only because it was Mom's car for a while there. Yeah, well, she thought it was. Willie's always been my, my dude. The sauce piece is right my way. I should put that old sign on Bomb Pop. 
it does work. Oh, I'm surprised, ain't the truth. Uh, some extra mirrors. I don't know if I need those or not. Yeah, we're not far from uh, uh, me having to go up there and pull Bomb Pop up on deck and get him freshened up for the season. I can't wait for that. I know Esther can't wait either. So yeah, just another boring video, folks. Ninja Nick and Fat Boy Jim playing with junk as usual. Uh, changing out some axles and like I said I've never now on big large trucks I know you've seen them Nick they got them two and sometimes three piece drive shafts mm -hmm. and they have to have them yokes usually but, it's on the longer trucks like extended yeah trucks. yeah yeah the longer ones yeah mm -hmm. uh, the old grain trucks and stuff uh, a lot of you know, big 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 trucks like ambulances and stuff use them too yeah, I've just I've never seen them on a caravan. Yeah, I knew they had one. It just it well, I know you've worked on a thousand of these, you know, over there at the ambulance company. They yeah, in case you guys didn't know, Nick was the master mechanic at the ambulance company. I won't give the name out just because that ain't proper, but that is part of Nick's uh, work history. Uh, he was the master mechanic at the ambulance company, keeping patients going in and out where they need to go. And uh, keeping everybody straight. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Anymore, Ninja Nick might possibly retire. <laughs> but we're not going to let Ninja Nick retire. So tomorrow I'll be out running around anyway, and uh, I'll give you a call, and uh, I'll just meet you up there, and we'll get an assessment of the situation. Yeah. And Groundhog, he started a new job, so. Uh, if we have to, we'll call him, see if we can get him on deck to show us what's what so we can at least finish up and uh, get that put back together. We'll get an assessment on it tomorrow, right? Yeah, we got to see what he's done. I'll check the weather tonight, too, to see what's going on and let you know. I know it said, uh, according to Alexa, it's supposed to snow tonight. That's not good. That's been part of the holdup. He, he got sick for a while, and then he got a job, and... I mean, he was going at it full throttle there for a minute, so... I, mean, I know he was, but then it stopped. Yeah, it ran out of gas. <laughs> he ran out of gas. Yeah. He's a good mechanic, though. He really is. And he's enthusiastic when he does things. Right. And a good friend of the family. He's definitely part of the family. Oh, uh, get my hand up in here this last one. <sighs> Oh, I moved that so. It was, oh, okay. It was I was like, to you. <laughs> I was like, damn, that looks strange. I, I disconnected it so it wouldn't be tense on it. Gotcha. Up, gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna lay underneath the car. I can move this lamp back for you, bub. Make a little bit more room. Put under here. I, do you need any light? You said you can't, you can't see it anyway. No, I'm doing this all by feel. <laughs> Using the force. <laughs> you can't literally see anything down here. <sighs> Everything's tucked away, tight, and everything, man. Like, it's so tight, I can't even get my hand in there. All right. Like, literally, the last one. Oh, boy, I hate doing these. <laughs> I hate these caravans because they're so tightly packed. I called my Home Depot card and literally I have one dollar. <laughs> so I'm going to get that paid off this summer. <laughs> but yeah, it's done. Yeah, it is. I think everybody, a lot of people's cards are like that. You know, you don't realize it until you max it out and then, you know, well, I better not use that no more. I better pay that off. Yeah. So, yeah, it boils to the top of get shit paid off. But anyway, uh, me and Ninja Nick appreciate you guys' time. And uh, we'll do a part two of the reassembly. And uh, stay tuned for more boring videos from Fat Boy Jim and Ninja Nick at No Barn Garage or No Money Garage or No Garage Garage. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at this axle, though before we do our thing here. Uh, it looks right. Yeah. 
Looks about the same size, right? Yeah. Come with a new nut and everything. That's good. They usually do. That's good. Oh, what is the other one already in? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sweet. I didn't even realize it. Okay. Now my famous trick of getting these in here. Ready? Come on, baby. Come on. Why don't you play with me? You did. Did it go in? Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess there's not going to be a second video, folks. We're going to hang right in here with Nick and see what he does best. That's why we love Nick. Well, we love him for other reasons, too, but we sure appreciate him. So this shouldn't need an alignment or nothing, right? Shouldn't. I mean, they say you should, but I've never done it. Okay. We'll see how it drives and let her let us know, and we'll just go from there. Oh, shouldn't come on. Let, too let, big my a problem. let go. Let go. Is that a half inch, or is that the same one I got? <coughs> oh, that's, that's, a that's a half inch. Uh-huh. That big boy. Yeah. Uh, Tony says he has one over there for me. Not this. A half inch, he says. I don't know which one he's got. Give it the ugga dugga. I was watching the wizard, uh, uh, the car wizard. Uh, <coughs> he, he works with Hoovy. And uh, he was doing a video on uh, how old school everybody used air tools and how electric tools, you know, cordless, has just took over the industry. Makes it convenient. It does. It does. I've used air tools and cordless just, you ain't got to trip over the hose. You don't have to worry about, oh, is my air pressure good? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's Water what he was saying. Worries. I mean, they got to... Ten thousand dollar compressor, and uh, there's been times where they didn't even use it all week long, you know. Mm -hmm. So, all right, it's gonna get loud. Yep. Just FYI, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> do what? <laughs> what I just did. What, with the impact? No. You're supposed to torque that to 100 and some foot pounds mounted on the vehicle. Usually about 120, 130. Because if you do too much, you compress this bearing too much, it'll break it. But what I always do is I'll test it, I'll pull the axle. If there's no slap at all, it's usually tight enough. Okay. Okay. So if you ain't got impact wrench, that's what you do, folks. Work with what you got. <laughs> yeah. And if you ever do need to, this is just a tip. Take your screwdriver or whatever, slide it right into this brake rotor. Oh, well, this is too thick, but flathead screwdriver, slide it right into this brake rotor, and it'll stop that rotor from moving. And then lock that axle up so you can break it loose. Okay. Little tip, but also if you ain't got an impact. Nice. Because otherwise, you ain't getting that nut off. Yeah, I mean, you know, we watch all these channels. These guys got these great big garages and great big toolboxes. And uh, a lot of them's a lot smarter than we are. Even you too, Nick. They're a lot smarter. And uh, because they do all that custom fabrication and shit. I guess if we had the tools, we would. But, yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, folks are just doing what they got to do uh, right as it stands. Mm -hmm. You know? So I guess we're just finishing up here and we're done, right? Yeah, it's done. Okay. It's a done deal. It's a wrap. All righty. We couldn't appreciate you more, Ninja Nick. And thank you for the tips. And with that, we're going to cut this video and uh, take this oh, thing for a test drive. Tip. Yes, sir. Brake caliper. If you got it, 
zip tie it right to the shock. Good this, idea. This way it don't fall on your head. With it. <laughs> or, it very you nice. <laughs> or you don't stretch this brake line and break it. Nice. So pay attention to that too, uh, DI wires. All right, thank you very much and have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, let us know.